All right. Hi, welcome Seminole State family. This is Nicole with the library. And we are gonna find out right now today, who is Kelly Pate? And of course, this is Kelly Pate who is joining me today. Hey, Kelly, thanks for joining us today. Hi, thanks for inviting me. All right, so um, as many people know, faculty, students, staff alike, we have a team of librarians that work across different campuses. And now, um, since the spring, we're all working online and we're helping everybody. And um, I think people that use the library, they know, they kind of have ideas of what is a librarian? What do they do? Um, but a lot of people don't know the, the personalities, the, the people behind the services. And so we're uh, taking the opportunity to introduce our Seminole State family to the people behind the services, the librarians. And um, Kelly, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself real briefly and tell us a little bit about your professional background as a librarian. All right, so um, I'm one of the research and instruction librarians. My home campus is Altamont, currently at home though. Um, but uh, I graduated from Stetson University in 2010 uh, with a bachelor's in history. Um, and then also uh, from the University of South Florida with an MLIS in 2013. Um, my background is largely in education, specifically K through 12 schools. I come from a middle school. Um, I taught there as a media specialist for about six years. Um, a media specialist, if you guys don't know, is sort of just like kind of the school librarian, tech services kind of person. So that was my role. Um, and then I came to Seminole State in June of 2019. So it's pretty much my one year anniversary with you guys. Nice. So um, I know I've worked in the past with kids and I haven't worked directly as a teacher in the schools, but so you're basically, you're ready for the trenches. You're used to it all. Yeah. Working with middle school kids and working in the school system. It's a very, there's a lot of um, working parts. Um, and what do you think, what are the, the takeaway from that experience? Like, how does it help you working with college students and faculty and staff at Seminole State? I think it's really helped me um, to, to realize that I can't make assumptions about what uh, a student or, or anyone should know. And just to, to try to break down how I teach them, just bare bones and building from the bottom up. And again, not to make assumptions that, oh, well, you know, you're in college, you should know this. Um, uh, working with students where they are is, is what being at a middle school really taught me. And I think that's so valuable and it's great to have you on the team. Uh, I often, often think of librarians like we're all like Avengers, like it's like the team of Avengers and like each one of us has our like superpower yeah. and our unique thing that we bring to the team to work together. Um, so it's, it's super valuable um, what you mentioned there. Um, so what particular moment or experience in life and your personal history can you identify as like leading you to be to become a librarian to be like a superhero. <laughs> um, actually, I was a senior in college and I was in a senior research class. Uh, it's required to graduate uh, from Stetson. And I realized that I didn't know how to research properly at all. And so I met um, a librarian by the name of Jane Bradford. And she really, really assisted me through the process. And she just opened up my eyes to all kinds of different resources that I had access to that I was paying for and I had no idea. And I just kind of, I realized that I just made it by throughout all of college, Googling, you know, and that's it. <laughs> um, and I was like, you know, if I can, if I can help other students get this, this skill early on, that would be great. So um, she actually kind of in, inspired me to go into a library program. And here I am. <laughs> um, so what is your favorite service to provide? Um, since you said you've been here a year, you've been with Seminole State um, for a year. Uh, what's your favorite service to provide? at the college, you know, we have the chat, we have virtual reference. Right now we're not doing in-person uh, research instruction. 
what's your favorite thing that you have done um, or do now? Well, uh, overall, it's the, the teaching and the research instruction part of it. I really like to uh, break apart a topic with a student and figure out what it is that they want to research. Um, and I like to have authentic conversations about it. it. It does something for me personally to engage in those conversations with students. Um, anytime actually specifically that I can work with uh, history students, that's my main thing. And that's, to me, it's just fun. Um, but uh, I feel like um, with history, and, and getting students to research those, those things, um, it's one of the most valuable things that we can do um, because I think that learning about the past can lead to a better society. And being able to make our students make connections between history and the life that they're living now is just, that's just fun for me. So teaching, specifically uh, research-based stuff. And I love the history classes. And aren't you uh, coming up here for summer B, are you working with the, and forgive me if I'm um, uh, calling it by the wrong name, but the summer bridge program, what is yes, it called? Yeah, the summer so, bridge program. So will you be teaching, you'll be doing research instruction in that course online, like doing live sessions Correct. Like, with the class? Right. The American history class, one of the American history classes with Dr. Morton and also um, English one with Christina Basiri. Awesome. Okay. So obviously that's uh, right now, all of the classes are um, online and coming up in the fall, I think there are going to, they just um, actually released the, uh, uh, the announcement of the phase reopening for Seminole State. Um, but even into the fall, it's looking like most students in some uh, part and parcel will be working still with Canvas, even if they are doing something in person on, on ground on the campuses. Um, and of course, they're used to their Canvas dashboard. And once in a while, the message comes across a can our, everyone's Canvas dashboard. It might be from you know, like the president's message or uh, maybe some announcement about uh, the reopening. I don't know if that's on there. If you could post if you had one chance to post something some pearls of wisdom some advice some whatever it may be to canvas for everyone across the middle state to see what do you think you would put there um well like i said i'm i'm a history person so i have this quote that uh i just come back to over and over again with whatever I'm going through personally or academically or professionally. And the quote is uh, from Theodore Roosevelt. It says, do what you can with what you have where you are. Uh, I think that this applies to everyone at every stage in life. Look at where we are right now. Look at the situation, you know, the school has transformed but seamlessly, we did what we could with what we had. We had professionals uh, working for Seminole State that really just made this transition stellar. Um, and again, you can apply this to anywhere in your life, do what you can with what you have, where you are. If you're in a class and it's tough, you know, do what you can with what you have, where you are. You, you don't feel guilty about it. Um, there's, there should be no stress. It's not worth it. Uh, just keep on keeping on. Well, it's supposed to be challenging, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, getting education is supposed to be challenging. And of course, who can students or even faculty or staff, who can they call upon if they need that extra help? Librarians, mm -hmm. right? right? Including Kelly Pate. Right. And um, so after uh, this video posts to our Facebook page, I'm going to put a link to your school email in the comments. So if anybody wants to um, drop you a line, get some help with anything, they can do that directly with you. Also, I'm going to put a link to the virtual appointments page where someone can select Kelly Pate and select from your availability if they want to schedule an online Zoom meeting with you. And remember, uh, for students, staff, students, faculty, and staff, if you can do an online meeting with a librarian, you don't even have to show your screen if you want. I mean, there's a lot of different options to work it the way to personalize it to your uh, to how you want to do it. 
And um, also you you do chat services, which is basically as opposed to virtual reference appointments are scheduled ahead of time, but chat services are drop in, pop in. And so when are you doing chat right now? What's your chat schedule? Uh, I'm typically the considered the afternoon librarian. Um, okay. These are typically uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays from two to four. Okay. I'm going to post uh, or also put a link to the uh, chat widget where the box where people can pop on and um, if they want to uh, talk to you at that time. So thank you for joining us today, Kelly. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you to our Seminole State family for joining us. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. We'll be live again shortly. Goodbye and be well, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Ke Kelly. Bye.